<laughs> All right, we are back. Boys, Legacy of Destruction. I don't know what these are called, actually. Limited edition boxes, something like that. I think they're only found at Walmart. It's me and the boys went to Walmart. And we gra I grabbed two because that's all that Walmart had. And then I visited another Walmart with my girlfriend and uh, bought some out. Actually went back to pick up some food. As Well, that's really the excuse, right? And I found some more boxes. So let's see because uh okay so we get two one token out of four or five is it one two i can't count so yeah it's a, out of five and this token in particular is pretty damn expensive it's about i think it dropped a little bit so it might be 10 to 15 bucks i don't think it's shorted either like i i'm pretty sure you get even chance of pulling any of them but i could be wrong it's just that i think people just like it um but yeah, we'll see what we can do. Also, I want to see if we can actually pull a QCR from these boxes because I kind of doubt it. But, um, you know, again, uh, we'll see, I guess. Um, or not, if we don't pull one. But we get four, four of these packs and then the uh, token. And I haven't actually, don't think I pulled this one. So hell yeah, Crowler, let's go. All right, first four packs. Come on, QCR. I just want to. I just want to know if a QCR is a possible. I just want to know. Ancient Gear Advance in Papa's footsteps. That's a weird name. That is pretty weird. But blessings of the voiceless voice. Okay. As far as polls, you can actually get pretty decent polls. I think I did uh, one secret rare, uh, or maybe two secret rares, and like two ultra rares out of two or three boxes. So. Uh, pretty decent, I would say, um, but of course, I think blisters are probably going to be better, just because I think I've had more luck on blisters, especially if you buy them early, like, I mean, Legacy of Destruction hasn't come out that long ago, so, yeah, if you got, if you buy them early, I feel like you get better, uh, pull rates, but, uh, anyways, let's see, we got Spearhead of the Ashend City, a super, so far, three, three supers, so nothing crazy, actually, no QCR pulled. All right. As far as secret rares, though, I mean, even ultra rares, there's not that many uh, decent, at least as of right now, is the meta, you know. There isn't that many decent ones, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, all right. Come on. Something more than a super, or at least give me the Tenpai Dragon super, because, uh, yeah, that, that guy's going buy about 15 bucks okay so we got the waifu unfortunately okay okay and then i, I kind of like the packaging in this one though because usually the the cards do kind of um move a lot it doesn't seem like they move that much in these packs but or in this box but um anyway so there we go we got a secret rare center ion Auxilla, about a five dollar card though so it's not too crazy actually i don't think you i don't even think it's five bucks um, but at least it's a secret rare, right? I mean, I think the most expensive secret rare is a $30 card anyways, so we're not going to do too big here, um, with secret rares anyways, so might as well go for the, uh, the gold and go for the QCRs, right? Uh, anyway, so two more, and then we got three more boxes. Oh, man. All right. I just, the, the thing I don't like about this, though, is too much packaging. There we go. Ten Pie Dragon. This is about 15 bucks, so a Seeker Rare and a Tenpai Dragon, uh, what's his face, pa Pedra, that ain't bad. If we pulled the uh, the Yugi token as well, dude, that would have been cracked AF, but, you know, unfortunate. Anyways, let's see what we can, oh, and an Ultra Rare, these cards are kind of sticking together, though, the, the two before the higher rarity, Silent Swordsman Zero, about five bucks too so that that mini mini box actually was pretty decent god damn okay so there is value in here for sure it's just like uh are you willing to gamble right oh 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 no it's the uh ooh. raid raptor dude okay that's correct not the yugi guy we haven't pulled a yugi token what's up with that not not even the least expensive one all right, Senpai, Dragon, Zoma, Jungle Dweller. See, they keep sticking. What is up with that? They also feel a little, like, uh, sandpapery. 
if that makes sense. They're, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, multi-universe. And, um, all right, so I want to pull a QCR, but I also don't know which QCR is, uh, you know, to go for. So besides the cover card, um, see, again, what the heck is going on here? Maybe I just got to be more careful. But besides the cover card, there isn't really much that I know QCR-wise. I think the little Yugi's archetype has... I mean, actually, a shitload of QCRs. At least four, I think. Um, but uh, I think they're all not doing that well in the market. So regardless, they're not going to be that expensive. Uh, maybe the Waifu, uh, the new magician. But even then, I don't think it's above $200. So this set ha has a really weird um, spread, if you will. But uh, okay, so what do we got here? Wake up, Center Ion. Okay. So I guess Center Ion is a new archetype. I, I missed a boat on that one. But, okay. So let's see second to last box. Uh, you know, the, the last box wasn't too bad. I think we pulled one Ultra. Uh, actually, that was it. So may, maybe not that good either. So the second last token is Crowler again. Okay. Okay, so maybe little Yugi's uh, tokens are pretty pretty shorted then. We got a twin dragon mem Oh, dude, that this is cool actually. This is the, this is the uh, the retrain memento uh, for the twi twin headed dragon for the old school packs. That's pretty cool. I like how they're doing that. Okay, ancient gear dark golem. That's cool to see actually. I haven't pulled any copies of this. Um, I've actually had more luck with Tenpai Dragon than the Ancient Gear Dark Golem, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. I, I hope the archetype is doing well. I, I haven't uh, seen anyone hyped for it or too hyped for it, but, uh, hey, there we go. Light Sworn Dragonling, about 17 bucks, so that it, it, it's not bad. It's probably the more, one of the more expensive ultras as well. Um, hmm. yeah, Vito's, Vito's dropped significantly. And everything else is sub $10 for the most part, actually. Holy shit. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Battle Guard. That goes... That has the OG uh, Swamp Battle Guard and the uh, Lava Guard, or whatever the hell his name is. Cool. Cool, actually. Well, this is one of my favorite artworks, by the way. It's a U-Bell card as well. It's pretty cool. It's a retrain of the OG... Uh, Grave, Grave <laughs> Squirmisher, or whatever the hell his name was. Um, all right, Center Ion Gargoyle 2. So these uh, Center Ions are definitely a new archetype here. Dandy White Lion, that's a retrain of the old Dandy Lion. The effect sucks ass, though, um, from what I remember it. So if this card is sent from the from the hand or fuel to the graveyard, you can special summon three White Fluff Tokens. Uh, you can not special summon from the extra deck the turn you activate this effect. You can only use this effect of Dandy White Lion once per turn. So it does, I guess, uh, you know, it, it prevents w the abuse that the original Dandy Lion had. But uh, at what cost, right? It, it's a useless card, essentially. Anyways, uh, oh, another Crowler. I mean, I guess I'll take it. I'm more of a GX guy myself, and I haven't pulled any of them actually so i think we're about even actually no the yugi cards are the yugi tokens are definitely shorted then that's crazy okay qcr time let's do this uh uh dragoness of devotion center ion zoma code of the soul i don't know if that's an import or or a world premiere I don't remember seeing it when it was uh, when the set was being teased in the OCG. So, yeah, your guess is good as good as mine, I guess. Uh, we got Pendulum Bitch, Pendulum Witch. All right, D double die. See, there's a lot of retrains actually, or callbacks to older cards. That's pretty cool. Does it also support normal mo normal monsters? If you control normal monsters, special summon level four warrior monster from your deck. No. A die was a warrior monster, so that's kind of the reference, I suppose. Warrior of Die, I think his name was. Really cool, actually. I, I kind of do like seeing it, but the cards themselves suck, right? Like they could make some some of them busted. 
Uh, ties that bind, Ultra Rare. Okay, nice. Hell yeah. I, I, I don't think it's that much. Maybe like two bucks. See, that, the problem with this set is a lot of the higher rarity stuff isn't that good. Or, you know, it isn't seeing play right now, so the, the prices aren't as high. So you don't feel as hyped when you pull them, but uh, it is what it is. Last card here, Fish, Borg, Harpooner. Probably one of the coolest artworks as well, because there's like a jetpack. Like, what is this? It's a fish inside of a ball. Like, uh, what, what is it, Bubble Boy? And and it's uh, it has rockets. Like, that. Uh, what, who, who made this? Because they were high as fuck for sure. Anyway, so that is it. No QCR. So is it even possible? But we did pull a shitload of... Um, of uh, ultras for the most part or higher rarity i suppose but only one secret rare from what i can tell one tenpai dragon so tenpai dragon was probably the goat here then we got center ion secret rare and then four ultras uh i was gonna say all of them are little yugis but they're not so they're actually pretty decent i, I really do like the artwork on this one actually uh it's weird it's weird and i like it but uh that's it catch you guys in the next one